Will you solemnly promise and swear to govern the people of the United Kingdom of Great Britain? Her official title is not Queen of England or Queen of Scotland. She is Queen of the United Kingdom. That is the role to which she's devoted the past 62 years of her life as Head of State of the United Kingdom. But in the event of a yes vote next week, the proposition put by Alex Salmond is that Scotland and England should revert to how things were more than 300 years ago, with two independent nations in effect sharing the same person as head of state. According to Mr Salmond today, it's all very straightforward. Her Majesty the Queen, who has seen so many events in the course of her long reign, uh, will be proud to be Queen of Scots, as indeed uh, we have been proud to have her as monarch of, uh, of this land. You think or you know? You think or you know? Have you discussed it with her? Well, uh, the proper position, of course, I uh, had an audience at Balmoral just some two weeks ago, uh, but the proper position is you don't, uh, you don't discuss these matters uh, uh, in public. Some press reports have said the Queen is being urged to speak out in favour of the Union. She won't. Buckingham Palace tonight warned politicians to keep her out of things. A spokesman said any suggestion that the Queen should wish to influence the outcome of the current referendum campaign is categorically wrong. This is a matter for the people of Scotland. The number one rule about having a constitutional monarch is they are not politicised. That nobody in their kingdom can suggest that in any way they're politically partisan. That said, there was one occasion when the Queen did speak up in favour of the Union. It was 1977. Devolution was just beginning. I cannot forget that I was crowned Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Ever since then, she's kept her views to herself. Yet this monarch, whose mother was Scottish and whose adult life has been devoted to Britain, will be watching matters very closely. The Queen will accept the referendum result, whatever it is. That's her duty as a constitutional monarch. But nobody should be in any doubt. Any breakup of the United Kingdom would be a matter of deep private sadness to her. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, at Buckingham Palace.